Yo, what's going on guys, it's Generous here today, and as you can see from the Titan thumbnail, I've got enough toy for you today, so I'm going to be showing you how to build this awesome looking Japanese slash oriental style fountain, okay? But before I actually get into the video, make sure you check the description down below for all the materials you're going to need, but anyway, let's go into the tutorial. Before we actually get into the video, this is what all the items look like inside of a chest format, okay? Right, I'm going to explain something here to you, everything up here is for the fountain, okay? The blocks down here, so stone, cobblestone, andesite, and polished andesite, they you can all have... We don't really know how many blocks because they can all vary, so you could have maybe a stack of it, you could have like 10, you could have whatever it may be. As you can see, I've got cobblestone up here as well, which is 16, because it is a minimum of 16 you're going to need at minimum for cobblestone, but everything after that, you could have as many as you want really, okay? But, the first step we are going to do to build this, okay, is, we're basically going to build the wall going around the outside, and the way we're going to build the wall is, as you can see, if you want to take a picture of this now, actually why you can that is actually how big, where the black and yellow wool is, that is how big the fountain is, okay? And as you can see, I've got one deeper, because I'm going to build basically on top of that, so obviously you're not going to see that. And the gravel here, you can change the gravel to whatever you want, it could be, I don't know, stone, could be cobblestone, whatever you want that floor to be, it's completely up to you, sand. But, what we're going to do here is, these corner blocks here, you can have them, whatever blocks you want, they're going to be temporary. Well, you see, oh, they're not going to be temporary, you're just not going to see them, okay? After this, what we're then going to do, is we're going to place a wall and it's going to go from the corner block where we just placed in there three leave a gap one two three four five leave a gap one two three so it's three leave a gap five leave a gap three as you can see just do a pattern going right the way around there you go one two three gap one two three four five gap one two three there we go after this okay these sections here we've left the gap we're going to build three high up pillars with the chisel stone brick okay there we go two three there we go one, two, three, there we go. 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 And in the corner part, we're going to add two chisel stone bricks, okay? As you're saying there, you're not going to see them blocks, so it doesn't really matter. There you go. There we go. And there we go, just like so. After this, what we're then going to do is place another layer on top of this of just regular stone bricks, okay, in between these. Just like so. Oops, no, I'm just put that there. There we go. One more side to do. And after this then, every other block we're going to place a slab, so as you can see, go left the gap, block, oh sorry, left the gap, slab, block, there you go, left the gap, slab, left the gap, slab, as you can see, we're going to keep doing this, going right the way around, just like so, there you go, and feel free to pause, feel free to pause this video anytime you want, by the way, after this, we're then going to place trap doors, and I'm going to put the trap doors, so as you can see, they're all facing the same way, so I'm not going to have it like this, where I see what's going that way and the chains are going that way and that, the trap doors. I'm going to have them all facing the same way, okay? Just like so. There we go. Oops, no. Nope. There we go, there we go. There we go. And there we go. And that's the outside wall all done and dusted. The next step we're going to do is we're going to build the bottom layer of the fountain, okay? So what you want to do is go to where the two corner sections, as you can see, this corner section here. We're going to meet in the middle here. As you can see, that's aligned with this one here and that's aligned with that one there. We're going to place a two high chisel stone pillar course like that. Say on this side, one there, just like so, there we go. Say on this side, there we go. And this side, there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place two next to them facing inwards, okay? Just like so. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And then what we're going to do as well is we're going to place two right in the middle, just like so. There we go. There we go. And there we go. After this, what we're then going to do, okay, is I'm going to place two of the cobblestone around the outside, just like so. Not this middle one here, we're going to leave that blank, okay? So it's just the corner sections. Here we go, just like so. After this, on the inside where like, the, the pillar is on its own, we're going to place cobblestone stairs on top of the cobblestone. Oh, no, not there. There we go, there, here, and here. And then on top of these ones, we're going to put slabs, okay? Here we go. Because the water is going to be on this layer right here, okay? That's why I'm saying earlier, you can make this whatever you want on the floor, you can make it out of sand because you're not going to really see the bottom of this, this is where the water's going to go, okay? After you've done this, what we're then going to do is go to the stone bricks, okay? We're going to do one, two, three, just like so, and then add one in the corner. One, two, three, add one in the corner. One, one, two, three, add one in the corner. One, two, three, add one in the corner. After this, we're then going to put a stone brick stair on top of these pillar ones in the middle, just like so, there we go. On these, oh, no, that was meant to go there, okay? On the corner sections of these, we're going to place a cobblestone wall, just like so. There we go. After these, we're then going to put stairs facing inwards towards the block on the edge, okay? Stone brick stairs. There we go. And on this next part, this is where I was saying before, 
with like a block so that can vary okay i am just going to do this purely out of stone okay but you guys can mix all what you're going to do is you're going to bring basically this these the, where the where the pillars are here okay you're going to bring this up like so really to the way just above the pillar going right around the outside you don't really need to fill this section is in the middle so if you want you can if you want to but you don't have to there we go do this side as well so at least it goes one above here okay so you got this shape going so far after you've done this shape what we're then going to do these corner sections we're just going to place one extra block on top of them okay just like so and then after this what we're then going to do is we're going to do the middle section but i'm going to go and get the materials to do that okay so i'll catch it in just a second now to do this middle section here what we're going to do is we're going to basically just fill this top section in here okay with just any block you want really it doesn't really matter because you're not really going to see that after this then i'm going to put chisel stone bricks in these four corners just like so okay after this we're then going to put three high one two three just obviously stone again obviously that can be a mixture of the polished on the site the other site whatever it may be after that three tall stone brick pillar on top of these chiller stone bricks there we go and then connect these together at the top with three by three just like so after this step what we're then going to do stone brick upside down stair there we go in between them and then a regular cobblestone stair just there like so after this we're then going to pour just a regular oak leaf just there in front of the stair okay after you've done this step we're going to add lanterns these stone corner bits we put in earlier there we go after this, we're then going to put two high st just stone bricks on top of each other, on top of the cobblestone walls. There we go, there we go, and there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put upside down stairs going right around this, okay? Just like so. There we go, there we go. There we go, one more side to do. Oh, no, there we go, perfect, and there we go. And now what we're, what we're going to do now is... We're going to go basically as you can see what i've done here is i've gone from the very center here so you've got one two three four five out from the very center and we're basically going to make a big square going right around this with just dark oak planks okay and then what we're going to do is if you want it technically you can get rid of this okay in this section here and you can just put dark oak planks there you don't have to if you don't want to that's what i'm going to do though but i'm going to obviously do this all off camera and as well off camera what i am going to do is I am going to do, you've probably seen it throughout all my other tutorials, is go around and obviously on the corner sections here, have the top half spruce slab in the middle, or in between them, sorry, have lower half spruce slabs, and the corner sections have that upper half spruce slab there on the next section, okay? So just going to keep repeating this, going right the way around, and I'll fill all this in off camera. Right, as you can see, I've done all that off camera, I've filled it all in, and gone around the edges just like so. The next step, what we're going to do is, in the four corners on top of the dark oak planks, we're going to put just a regular stone brick stair, or stone brick block like so. After this, two stone brick slabs right next to them go again on all four sides. There we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. And then in between these, just spruce trap doors, just like so. There we go. As after you've done this, lanterns on the four corners of them. And then after this, we're going to pour. One, two, three, like so, and then one on the corner, just like again, like so. With just oak leaves. And then in between them, with the, obviously the spruce trap doors in the middle, oak leaf there again. There we go, and then we can get rid of them two for now, and get them two back, because we need them in a second, the dark oak, the dark oak planks, and then the spruce slabs. After this, what we're then going to do, chisel stone brick block right here, here, up, up, there, there, and there. After this, we're then going to do a just a regular stone brick on top of them. And then after this, what we're then going to do is put a cobblestone wall on top of them. Then back to a stone brick, there we go. And then on top of these, we're then going to put the chisel stone brick block again, just like so. There we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. We're then going to arch these ways in with obviously upside down stone brick stairs, there we go. Oh no, not there. And then obviously in between these, we're then going to put just a stone brick slab to connect it all together. There we go, so we should have something that looks like this. The next step we're going to do is, we're, again, going back to the variant, so you could use polished on the site, on the site, whatever you want, I'm going to use stone again, is I'm going to bring two high there like so, then a one, then a two, then a one, then a two, then a one, then a two, then a one, and then this one here, we're going to bring four high, so one, two, three, four, just like so, and again, they can be whatever blocks you want right there, okay? The next step we're going to do is, we're going to go one, 
two, three, four, five. There we go. We're basically going to fill this in. We're going to do this on camera with you. There we go. And again, same thing as what we did there. We're just going to go top in the corner sections here, the top half screw slab, just like so. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And then obviously, temporary block there, screw slab, temporary block, screw slab, oh, no. screw slab, temporary block, screw slab, temporary block, screw slab. And now all we really have to do is to do the basically the symbol on the top here, okay? And what we're going to do is I'm going to basically start it on the chest side. So the chest side is this side here, okay? So I'm going to place right in the middle here. So where the middle is right there, to the left of it and to the right, we're going to put a spruce log. Build them three high. After that, we're going to place a temporary block there, okay? Upside down, dark oak stair on either side. Get rid of them. Dark oak slabs connecting them. And then right below it, we're just going to put dark oak stairs just like so. And pretty much all that's left to do now is just add the water, which we're going to add the water right at the very top block there. So as we can see, it flows down. Oh, and actually what I forgot to do is I've got to tell you where to add the holes, okay? Do the holes here, okay? Is where you got this middle oak stair, like oak, oak leaf, just like so. We're going to put one diagonal to the left, one diagonal to the right, just like so. There we go. Same on all four sides. One, two, there we go. And one, two, there we go. And now if you add the water, this should be perfectly fine. There we go, perfect, flows down, just like so, and then obviously down here, all you're going to want to do is just fill all this in with water. But anyway guys, this is pretty much the entire tutorial done and dusted. If you guys have enjoyed this, and you want to see more content like this on the channel, make sure you are subscribed, and if you haven't already, hit that like button, okay? Because I'm coming on the road to 3k subs, and obviously hitting that subscribe button will help massively, and obviously hitting that like button will help massively. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next tutorial. See ya!